what do you want on a limestone for a pool deck? I think the number one thing you want is slip resistant. You don't want a smooth surface. You have to change the surface texture for a pool deck. And you don't want it too raw because, you know, kids are running around, you don't want it to where it's so raw, it's gonna like peel their, 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 the sole of their foot. You can tell by the feel and the touch of the stone if it's gonna be a good slip resistant finish. We also apply that finish here in the shop. And that's something that very few companies do because clients are surprised that we offer that. They don't even know it's possible. It's a technique and a process that we developed about four years ago that's really a big deal. We start off with the raw stone and then we apply a slip resistant finish to the surface. We also can apply the slip resistant finish to an existing pool job that's installed um, at, at your home. We can fine tune it. We have the ability to fine tune the slip resistant finish for every job because every stone is gonna have a different recipe to create a slip resistant finish. We're gonna do a slip resistant test on seven different materials. We're gonna demonstrate how we do a slip resistant finish and how that's gonna look and feel on different materials. The old sneaker will give you an idea of the, the material is dry now, which is good for slip resistance. However, if it's honed, you're still gonna have a slip factor not as bad as when it's wet. If we wet the material, so now we're talking about this material in the shower or on the pool deck. So now you run that sneaker on, on this and it's literally, this one's super slippy. This one just glides right across it. So when we treat a floor or a pool deck we wouldn't do it on a wet day while it's raining. We want a dry condition because we don't want to dilute our product. The length of time that the product is on here depends on the stone. So we will do a test here in the shop and every stone will have a different time. It could be two minutes, it could be 30 minutes. You can reactivate this product with water on top of the first application and it has the effect of reactivating it. The ultimate test is when it's wet. When the floor is wet, this is like... So that's the slip resistant process. It's fast and easy. We come to your house and we can do it in a day. There's no noise, no equipment, no machinery. So on this installation, we created a contrast, a zigzag. This silver shadow from Northern Italy has a nice linear grain pattern to it and it has this really cool shadow effect. We applied a slip resistant finish to the stone. So contrasting that with the white shell coral, which is unfilled, you have the brain coral and the fan coral very, very clearly visible. The white shell is very unique to this stone uh, from the Boca Chica areas outside of Santo Domingo in the DR. A great material, slip resistant, has a beautiful casual elegance about it and just gets better with time because with time this will take on a slight patina and it'll look like that for a hundred years. We'll have a new video for you every month so stay tuned. <music>